Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome to The Dark Side Detective, A Fumble in the Dark. This is, of course, the sequel to The Dark Side Detective by Spooky Doorway, and it was released in 2021. Now, at the end of the first game, McQueen was looking for Dooley. Dooley made a very unfortunate wish on a genie lamp, and he ended up somewhere in the dark side. I am very excited to see where Spooky Doorway take this. I mean, we've got to find Dooley, right? You can't have McQueen without Dooley. That, that just wouldn't make sense. It'd be wrong. It'd be awful. So I do hope that we can find Dooley safe and sound very, very quickly. So let's jump into this. Now, I am... I'm rather surprised that the bonus episodes are just here in the first game. This was similar, you know, it had the first case and then a bunch of classifieds, but this was hidden until you had completed the first six cases. I guess in the sequel you can do these whenever you want. Um, of course we're going to do them in order. We're going to start with case one, Missing Presumed Dark Side. I gotta... I gotta find Dooley! Yes! Yes, we do gotta find Dooley! Previously on The Dark Side Detective. It's been one year since my partner, Officer Dooley, went missing from the motel. Dooley? Dooley? I have an idea where he's ended up. Oh no. So I've been chasing up on old leads. Oh shit, this was from the very first case, Alice in- No, it was in Malice in Wonderland, there we go. The portal here is still locked down. Dooley, where are you? And started chasing new leads too. Oh my god, Bashful Bells. Uh, Bareness? Banishment Barroom? This is Busty Bell's something, something boutique. Have you seen this man? Nuala. Sorry, it's hard to see anything through all this smoke. Are you in here, Dooley? I've run out of official avenues to pursue, so I've- We've been fired! We've been fired, how dare! Taken some time off to search on my own. So, I'm asking for your help. Maybe you've seen something that will help me find my friend. Maybe you have a strange glow in your backyard. Maybe there's an odd energy in your workplace, or perhaps food has been going missing from your fridge. Anything at all, just reach out to me via the station. Please, I need your help, Twin Lakes. Dick Brickman! That's some heartfelt pleading. Hmm. And now on TLTV, we have a squirrel who can count. Oh my god. Get off the stage. And now on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, a squirrel who's just nuts about numbers. <laughs> this is what we have been replaced with. We're searching for our missing friend and no one no one cares because there's a fucking squirrel. Raxa! How was it? It went well. I'm gonna have to try and remember all of these voices, flipping heck. There were too many and it's been so long. Ugh. Come on, let's go. Marv. Sorry to hear about Dooley. I'll edit some really sad music over that piece. Pull on the heartstrings. You'll have cranks calling you about all sorts of weird stuff in no time. That's 
very much a mixed blessing. Looks like it's the storage room. Equipment storage only. Please stop leaving stray animals in here. Okay, this is this is the same. Okay. I know you're lonely, but hands off, cowboy. This is a Mac, not a duster. Nah, I'm not seeing you dress like a cowboy. I'm just calling you one. Like a clown or a fool, only nicer. Except for now that I've explained it, it's not so nice. Ah oh, well. But yeah, keep those gunslinging hands to yourself. Again, not a cowboy. I know, cop. We couldn't decide if Morning Glory looked better with or without a bush. Heh. <laughs> Heh. So, do I just... Please. Yeah, we have been replaced by the squirrel. No one gives a shit. Poor wee guy is pointing at his mouth and rubbing his belly. Is he miming the answer? I don't understand. What number is that? Two? <laughs> he wants nuts! The squirrel is hungry. Bubbles? What? What am I doing here? You're on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, Twin Lakes premiere, and only live morning talk show. This is the weirdest first date I've ever been on. Haha, <laughs> date? What? You brought your mathematical squirrel to us to highlight his numerical skills on almost more or less live TV. I met this squirrel through the classified ads. I, I thought he was a person. So you're on a blind date, and you go, and it turns out the date is a squirrel. And rather than saying, what the fuck, and going back home, you decide to just date the squirrel. I... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is... <laughs> the, this squirrel is cursed. Like the teddy bear, it's cursed. Coffee comes separately, it seems. Hmm. Okay. That looks to be everything. Okay, I I guess we'll just go. We'll just go find Dooley on our own. Madame Lemeg, you can't fire me. I can and I have. If you were such a good psychic, you'd have known not to come into work today. Get out of here. Hmm. Lights on. Guess I can't enter. T knock, knock. Nobody's there. It's a list of the network's shows. No news is good news. The news-free news show. Weather, weather. Where they discuss what weather is, but don't forecast it. And the economical no-prize lotto. Hmm. Are you gonna... I guess I should... <laughs> Go away! No stars here! I downsized the staff into one room so I could have an ensuite. An empty can of paint. Looks like they're freshening up this room. Right. It's empty. In case of fire, burn. Mm. Detective! There you are! Hello? Wondering how I knew your name? That's not my name. I said job. I was just on the show. Because I am Madame Le Meg, Twin Lake's finest psychic. Uh. A skeptic, I see. Try this on for size. I know you're searching for somebody. Your partner, Peter Donnelly. His name is Patrick Dooley. That's what I said. And again, I was just on the show. Mm. Fine, I saw your plea on the TV in my boss's office, but I am psychic and I can help. I know a place that lets people contact the other side. He's not dead. No, the other other side. Okay... What is this place? I can't tell you. I have to bring you. Let's go then. 
We can't. We can't. We can't. Not yet. My stuff is still locked up inside the storage room. Okay, let's get it and go. Uh, I, I left my key in the dressing room and I can't go in there. My replacement is here already. Embarrassing, right? Oh, tell you what. You get my stuff and I'll meet you out by your... Hold on. I'm getting a vision. I'm seeing a police car. Well, obviously I'm a police off. Super, see you there with my bag. Ciao. Okay. Do you think these are made out of real stardust? You know that's unlikely, right? I'm still taking it. You received item Star Star. A dangerously sharp star. Okay. Oh, I thought we were meeting outside. Mystic Mystique. <laughs> huh? A moment ago, when we spoke, you said... This is a different person, detective. Oh. 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 Yeah, you, you do look remarkably similar to the other lady. Aren't they divine? My fans, the ball heads, they'd kill for me. I even had a vision of one doing so once. You even sound remarkably similar, my goodness. Can I get this person's name and address, please? That's me and my ball heads at last year's PsyCon. I signed so many balls that day. My goodness. Flippin' heck. They write to me for advice, my fans. I don't reply, of course. Never work for free. That crystal is melite. It helps people with a sense of fashion. Actually, you should take it. Ugh. You received item melite. A golden brownish stone. That's melite, also known as honeystone. I accidentally took a geology course instead of geomancy last semester. That must be the lockbox key that Meg mentioned. Hands off! That's for employees only. The centerpiece of my psychic's arsenal. Sure, people want their cards read, but they want to see a crystal ball. Hello, are you a fan? I can see not. No ball on your head. Sorry, can't talk. Getting ready for my new show and don't have time for non-fans. Oh, look, a didgeridoo. Don't mind if I didgeridoo. And we just took it. Okay. I can see all of my pores, crow feet, and stress wrinkles in perfect clarity. They're all sad lamps, too, so I don't even feel bad seeing all that. That's just some flattened out aluminum foil. Public accessing doesn't have the budget for real mirrors. Oh, damn. What a colorful range of makeup. Sadly, I share this room with anyone going on TV, from presenters to clowns. Ugh, clowns. I know, they should treat a star like me with real respect. Flowers from the station manager to welcome me to the new job. Welcome new employee. It's the personal touch that I appreciate. Okay. A wind instrument of the Aboriginal people. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so we need the key, but we need to prove that we're a fan. I... Plant. That's a drooping Willoughby tree. How do you know so much about plants? A private reasons. Ah, okay. She grows the weed. That's what I'm going with. This plant is called the Wilting Tony. Who do I get to sign for this delivery? I'd rather give you my number than my signature. That's no use, I need a- Oh wait, that was a flirt, wasn't it? It was. Oh, how novel! Tee hee hee! 
25 minutes time. 15 minutes from now. The time in 10 minutes. The plaque says this is the time. God damn. I think this is meant to be a list of people who work here, but it's just gibberish. Yes, the station manager doesn't like fans reaching out to him or the performers. He believes that they perform better when they're attention starved. Oh. Oh, you're new. Yeah, the last guy got possessed. Really worked out for him, though. The ghost has gotten him promoted to regional manager. Damn. A bin. I have nothing funny to say about this. But I, I need to check the bins. I need to check all the bins. A sign here, please. Um, sure. Thanks, enjoy your delivery. Oh. You received item delivery box, okay. I guess I can go now. Or not. <laughs> hmm. A box addressed to Mystique, Mis a uh, Mystic Mystique. There's an interesting clinking from inside it, but it's taped up too tightly to check its contents. Okay. Um. A yeah, dangerously sharp star, so. Hmm, it's a federal offense to open somebody else's mail. Just as well you don't work for the FBI then, right? You received item, glass bowls. Hey. A collection of fish balls, okay. Okay, so if we put these on, uh, can we? I won't find Dooley that way. Uh, maybe if we convince Raxa? I won't find Dooley that way, okay. Cause she won't speak to us unless we're her fans and her fans are the ball heads and she signs their balls. This Mystique Mystique or Mystic Mystique. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her name wrong every single time, but madam, you. You should have come up with a better name for your fans, I'm telling you. Um, yeah, this this was to the corridor. So what's out here? The Blood Wolves? What are you doing here? We saw you on TV. We're here to do a help. How did it go? Well, it certainly went. I can say that much. Who's the lady in the car? You're kidnapping her for interrogation. Can I waterboard her? Emily, you haven't changed at all. And I don't know whether that fills me with joy or despair. She's a psychic. She says she can help find Dooley. I just have to get some stuff for her. Can I still waterboard her? No. No, also, oh my God, the car looks like shit. The car looks like... This car was Dooley's pride and joy and we have let it become shit. Stripped of all its glory, now it's just the moto. Yeah, it was the moto popo, I believe. Oh. I like what you've done with the car, but if you wanted it bashed up professionally, all you had to do was ask. No, <laughs> this wasn't intentional. The number two news outlet in town. Impressive, since it's the only outlet in town. Twin Lakes, the city that sleeps with one eye open. It's peaceful. Especially when it's far away and asleep. P is for police car, because that's what's parked here. A few palm trees does not make this Sunset Boulevard. Sorry to drag you away from whatever fun teenager thing you were doing. It's mostly brooding these days, which upside is an easy hobby to bring anywhere. Mom and Dodd said I'm not... Sorry, Dodd? You mean Dad? I prefer the consistency of Mom and Dodd. They wanted to know if you have police clearance for minding kids, and also if you have insurance for minding kids, and also what courses you have done for minding kids. Do I need to ring them or something? No, they're over there because they didn't want to leave me unattended by them. Ooh. Also, what's an incompetent? Is that your police rank? Jesus. Jesus. Devon, I'm so sorry about your parents. I'm so sorry about them. Why is there a kid jumping on this car? 
Maybe I picked the wrong cop to help? Jumping is helping, lady! Okay. Oh, that tickles- Oh yeah, I forgot you can click on a queen. So. She's right there. Just sitting in the car. Just carrying on as if that's normal. Entirely ignoring the kid jumping on the roof. Which would have made getting in really difficult. This is gonna be some day. Some day indeed. I do like that he's partnered up with, with Rax. I can't I can't imagine McQueen on his own. I don't think he'd do well on his own, so I'm very glad that he partnered up with Rax. Because she's competent. She is very competent. Um Considering that we can't go anywhere else, uh, there are three bowls, there are three kids. Blood wolves assemble! We're right here? Ahem, <laughs> good, okay. Who wants to earn their espionage badge? All of us, obviously! I need you to put these on your heads, go in there and pretend to be a type of fan called a ball head to lure out their new psychic. Insist on seeing her. Say you want autographs or something. Just get her there and don't let her leave. You understand? Probably? Okay. We're here to see the queen or something! <laughs> Emily. Emily never change. She cures bald heads. N no, guys. We're bald heads. Mystique Mystique's fans. Can we see her, please? We want her to sign our stupid heads. 100% no. Not gonna happen. My fans! I adore my fans! Ugh. Wee. I am a ball head. Yes, sirree. Give me some of those sweet, vague future predictions. I'm here for whatever this Nostra dumbass has to say. Nostra dumbass! Amelia, yes! I see you've got your teenage sarcasm badge. Thanks, it was hard work, but it was totally worth it. Amelia's voice keeps changing. Uh, her voice is breaking. That's it, her voice is cracking and breaking. It's going between kid voice and teenager voice. Because all kids sound the same. What's the mostest boxes you've delivered in one day? And also, how many boxes can you carry at once? And also, what size boxes are we talking about in my previous question? Help? No, he is yours now. I'm King Bullhead! Bring the mind witch before me! Off with her head! I had forgotten how much I loved Emily. I had forgotten how entertaining she was. My fans, my adoring fans, what a lovely surprise. How did we surprise a psychic, eh? I mean, what a lovely surprise for you, that I could make the time to see you, which was easy to do as I knew it was happening. Okay. And while you have left your room, an attendant, I'm taking it. I bet she didn't see this coming. We got the lockbox key, lovely. Now then, the lockbox... Yeah, she said it was in the storage room, but we can't get by Marv. Hmm. Can I get past- This is it, Marv. Your chance to get that perfect shot. I just need to get in- The shot that shows those Hollywood big shots that you're the man to call for any squirrel-related blockbusters. Uptown Squirrel, Gone Squirrel, The Squirrel with the Dragon Tattoo, Mean Squirrels. I would go on, but I'm talking to myself and I should be focusing on that shot. I'll just give him a moment to wrap things up here. Damn it, Squirrel, do your thing. How am I meant to get that golden shot if you want do your thing? I guess if I want into this storage room, I'm going to have to help that Squirrel. Is this what a normal day is like for you? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, he's hungry. Yeah, the squirrel is hungry. We need to find him some food. Hmm. 
Um. Oh! Devon dropped his snack. Bag of nuts. Okay. Okay, I know what to. I know what to. Give the squirrel the nuts. You can't go on stage. You've had your 15 minutes of fame. I need to find a way to get these nuts to the squirrel. Um. A bag of nuts Devon dropped contains a warning, may have traces of nuts. It would be almost worrying if they didn't. No, 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 that wasn't what I meant to do, but, um, can we? The nut fits perfectly. I might not be able to play this thing, but I sure can use it like an oversized blowgun. Nut cannon, A. Eh? One nut locked and loaded, ready to fire. <laughs> McQueen, never say that again. Never say that again. Here goes nothing. Ugh. Hmm. Reluctantly eats nut. So what's eight minus three? Correct. Did you get that, Marv? Got it. About time. That's us for today, then, folks. This has been Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, getting you up to start your day. <laughs> and we're wrapped. Let's clear the stage. I, I love that. <laughs> Coffee comes separately, it seems. Okay, but now... Now we can get in. Okay. Obituaries. Death notices for the magically inclined. This label says solvable in 20 or so minutes. This looks like an older model of the one out in the studio. For transporting mediums and other mystics. I give this secret room a two star rating. Only two? Yeah, it's drab and only has boxes. Nothing particularly secret. No magic and no strange old person who knows the mysteries of the universe. Very fair of you. It'll be on Deluminati.com by the day's end. Oh, she's running Deluminati.com now! They kept up Dooley's website! Oh, I love it! The label says for smuggling interview victims. Damn. It says Lameg's stuff hands off. The box is locked, but we have the key. Right, what's in here then? Hmm. Looks like a bag. I guess this is what she wants. Go bag. Madame Lameg's emergency bag. Okay. Well, let's go. Ah, the kids are still bothering them. Love it. I have your stuff. Then give it to me and get in, quick. Why the rush? Are you the dark side procrastinator? Just give me the bag. Here you go. Okay, super. Now let's get out of here quickly. Uh. Why do I think that wasn't her stuff? Why do I think she's stolen something? Okay, so where are we going? Look. I know you think that all this supernatural kind of stuff is nonsense. Uh... And some of it is, some of its presentation, showmanship. But Twin Lakes is special. I know you won't believe me, but there's other stuff going on here. <laughs> McQueen and Rax at the same time. Uh... Anyway, there's a place some of us know that lets us harness this power to talk to people on the other side. And this place, it can help me get Dooley back? All I can do is help you find him. You'll have to bring him back by yourself. I can do that. I just need to know where he is first. This is it. The switchboard. Oh. It didn't have as many demolition in progress signs last time I was here. That doesn't bode well. 
Okay, well, I am just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, we examine the switchboard. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.